What's up YouTube, my name is Jason and I am a visual artist. This is a painting of mine from 2018 entitled The Sickness Unto Death. It is from the Intelligent Design series. It is oil paint on the novel The Sickness Unto Death by Soren Kierkegaard on canvas. And in today's video, I'll be discussing the technique that I used to create the piece as well as a little bit about the series. So thank you for taking the time to check out the video. If you're ready, we'll jump right in. So like I said, this is oil paint on the novel The Sickness Unto Death by Soren Kierkegaard. And I'm not going to talk very much about the book except to say Kierkegaard was a Danish philosopher who lived in the early 1800s and this book is based on Christian existentialism. With that being said, this figure, the Christ figure, is reaching out to the person who turns their back on the Christ figure while this person gives in to the Christ figure in humility and prayer and in doing so finds peace while this person who turns their back is in despair because their lack of faith is considered sin. So that's the extent that I'm going to talk about the theology behind the piece. I would much rather talk about the way that I constructed the piece and what I think is beautiful about the piece and also something that happened while I was beginning to make the video. So to start with first, I really wanted to experiment in this series with using full pages of the book to really layer it, and this was a good one because the chapter themes are despair is sin. There's poetry in the book that is absolutely beautiful, and I thought just the, the overall tone of the papers, that collage effect as a background, I thought worked really well, especially with the boldness of just having three subjects that aren't very big within the space that they're on. So as far as composition is concerned, and the subject and the material that I was using, I thought that it all was very cohesive. When I was all done, I really did want to leave these pieces that I know are going to come apart at some point. And while I was wiping down the piece to prepare it for the video, that's exactly what happened is a piece came off from here. And so I will use this as an opportunity. Initially, I thought I could easily fix that. You wouldn't even know, probably. But I want it to wear this way. It also provides a little bit of deeper understanding about how the piece is actually constructed because you can see the pieces underneath and the layering aspects. Now these pieces are exposed. That is something I may have to consider. I probably will throw some varnish on it just so that it is protected, but I don't think I'll change any of the coloration because there will probably be more pieces that that happens to, especially on the corners. And again, the way that I wove them together is such that if it, when this comes off, and it will probably come off, it won't interfere with these pieces. It shouldn't interfere with these pieces. So it's something to consider, All, and in my opinion, some of these are experiments. I, I wanted it to look this way, and in order to have it look this way, I have to accept that it's going to wear a certain way and, and wear down over time, and I'm willing to live with that for the aesthetic purposes of it. So. That is the piece, the Intelligent Design series is a series of paintings that I created using books that have had a profound impact on me as a person or as an artist. It was just very interesting to read at the time that I read it in my life. It's very heavy, very deep material, but I got, obviously it left an impact on me and I've always had that somewhere in my mind that I'd like to see it as I saw it in painting. It just, I really, really distilled it all down to the thinnest concept that I could so that the most people would be able to see it and just easily understand that one is accepting and the other one is turning away. And essentially, if you're familiar with the material, there's a large portion of it that is in that direct aspect of individual expressions of Christianity versus group expressions of Christianity. But that's the extent of the existentialism. So thank you very much for taking the time to check out the video. We will do a very interesting walkthrough. I'm sure you'll be able to see some of the seams and some of the wear and tear that the painting has been through. If you like this video, I appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. And if you like these videos in general, it would be great if you become a subscriber. So thank you very much for taking the time to check out the video and we'll do a walkthrough.